Wastewater Dan presents Wastewater Math Calculated with Excel Spreadsheets. As a service of ESDLT's Environmental Academy, environmentalacademy.com, today's example is to calculate the trickling filter recirculation ratio. So, in calculating the recirculation ratio, we have this information for our problem, which is, this trickling filter uses three recycle feed pumps to the filter. Each recycle feed pump has 90 gallon per minute pump capacity. The surface area of this trickling filter is 1,750 square feet, which can also be described as FT2. The influent flow is 180,000 gallons per day. So that's the data in the problem. So now, the formula we need to use is based on calculating the trickling filter recirculation ratio which equals the recirculation flow rate divided by the influent flow rate. So that's the formula. Now in this particular problem in order for us or in any particular problem um, that ends up with a ratio and you're using two different flow rate numbers to, to have a ratio, the time increment of each flow rate needs to be the same. They could be um, in increments of millions, as million gallons per day, uh, or an MGD. Uh, they could be in minutes. They could be in hours. As long as the time increment is the same with each of the uh, flow rates, then y your your ratio will be will be acceptable. Now, in this particular case, I got pump flow rates expressed in time increments of minutes, and I got influent flow rate in time increments of gallons per day. So the pumps are gallons per minute and the uh, influent flow is gallons per day. So really we just need to take one of these um, and re-express them to equal the same time increment as the other. And so for this problem, I simply chose the uh, flow rate of the pumps, which were in minutes, and expressed them as gallons per day. Take the two numbers, divide by each other, and that's going to give me my result. So let me slide this down so we can see everything on the um, equation. Let me do it like this. Um, so, using the electronic spreadsheet, what we want to do is we want to take everything on the top side, which is the recirculation flow rate, have all of that in parentheses, and we're going to divide by the influent flow rate. But since the influent flow rate is only one number, then there's no need for parentheses. If the um, influent flow rate had had multiple mathematical operations, we could just put them all inside the parentheses. In this case, we don't we don't need to do that. We do need to use parentheses though for the uh, to separate one from the other. So we'll be using multiple parentheses uh, for the uh, recirculation flow rate part. So first of all, we've got three pumps, and they each pump with a capacity of 90 gallons per minute. So that's where the 90 times 3 comes in. 
that'll get the flow rate for all three pumps in minutes. Uh, and then, of course, we've got to convert to flow from minutes to days by multiplying by 1,440, which is the number of minutes in a day. So we take our um, open parentheses. We have our equal sign. We have open parentheses twice. And we got the 90 times the 3, and then we got the closed parentheses for that part of the formula. Then we go times the 1440, and we got the closed parentheses for the entire top side of the formula. And then we have our division sign. And then we have the 180,000. And um, in, in an Excel spreadsheet, you hit enter, and then you're going to get your 2.16, which is the uh, recirculation flow. So that's how we solve the problem. And uh, I know I spent a little over right at six minutes, but I'm going to um, go into a little more detail for anyone who wants a little more explanation on how we take these um, formulas and <clears throat> essentially use them so we can uh, serve as a uh, template. Um, when we have our own math problems, we can just insert them into the formulas. So those are just a couple of things I want to uh, point out today. Um, and that is looking at this 180,000 gallons here. Uh, the 180,000 was just given to us as gallons per day. It could have been given to us as MGD. Uh, it could have been it could have been given to us as gallons per hour. Um, it could have been given to us in any any uh, any flow increment um, that uh, could have been chosen. <clears throat> but let's just say it was not 180,000 gallons. Let's just say it was uh, MGD. So let's say it was 0.18 MGD. What we would end up doing, uh, is so that we could use this basic formula, is we would add an open parenthesis right after the division key and right before the 180. We would have put in um, the 0.180, and then we would have multiplied. So we would have had this little multiplication key here, and we would have multiplied by a million, and then we would have had closed parentheses. And that would have taken the flow rate of, of 0.18 MGD, <clears throat> and that would have expressed it as gallons per day. And then that way you could have hit enter, and you still would have gotten the uh, 2.16. So um, that's my uh, formula for it. It's just about an eight-minute uh, video this time. Um, if you've got any questions at all about any problems, you can send them in to me. Uh, through my uh, e environmentalacademy.com, you can get my email address, or you can um, uh, fill out the uh, form, the uh, contact form, the email form, which comes to me as a contact form, um, or you could uh, go through the group, or you, uh, the uh, water wastewater math calculated by Excel spreadsheet group, which is uh, in uh, LinkedIn, uh, or you can you can you can just actually uh, get get my contact information uh, from the YouTube channel uh, or you can just do a, a search uh, with a search engine uh, say as Google but in any event I hope this is helpful and um, you know if you if you like this um, go ahead and um, subscribe to my channel um, like I say I've got 23 subscribers now hopefully you'll subscribe and we'll increase that and I will see you uh, next time.